Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is x to the power of 3. This is equal to 3 or 3 to the power of 3, plus 4 or 4 to the power of 3, plus 5 or 5 to the power of 3. So what is the value of x? Now, let's provide a solution from here. We have x to the power of 3. This is equal to 3 or 3 raised to the power of 3 plus 4 or 4 raised to the power of 3 then plus 5 or 5 raised to the power of 3. We can express 3 or 3 to the power of 3 as this is the same thing as 3 multiplied by 1 or 1 raised to the power of 3 then plus, we can express 4 or 4 to the power of 3 as 4 multiplied by 1 or 1 raised to the power of 3. Then plus, we can express 5 or 5 to the power of 3. This is the same thing as 5 times 1 or 1 raised to the power of 3. We have that 3 times 1 or 1 to the power of 3. This is in the form of A times B raised to the power of n, which we can express as a to the power of n times b to the power of n. Applying this exponent property, then we have x to the power of 3. This is equal to 3 to the power of 3 times 1 or 1 to the power of 3. Then plus, here we have 4 to the power of 3, multiplied by 1 or 1 to the power of 3. Then plus, now here we have 5 to the power of 3 multiplied by 1 or 1 to the power of 3. Now if you check here 1 or 1 to the power of 3 is common here so we can factor out 1 or 1 to the power of 3 so that now into the parentheses if we take 3 to the power of 3 1 or 1 to the power of 3 divided by 1 or 1 to the power of 3 we will remain with 3 to the power of 3 then plus 4 to the power of 3 multiplying by 1 or 1 to the power of 3 divided by 1 or 3 to the power of 3 here we remain with 4 to the power of 3 then plus now the same case here 5 to the power of 3 multiplying by 1 or 1 to the power of 3 divided by 1 or 1 to the power of 3 here we remain with 5 to the power of 3 across the parentheses so this is x to the power of 3. This is equal to 1 on 1 to the power of 3. Into the parentheses, 3 to the power of 3, this is 27. Plus 4 to the power of 3, this is equal to 64. Then plus 5 to the power of 3, this is 125. Now we have 125 plus 64 plus 27 and this is equal to 5 plus 4 this is 9 plus 7 this is 16 6 carry 1 here so this is 1 plus 2 this is 3 plus 6 this is 9 plus 2 this is 11 1 carry 1 here 1 plus 1 this is 2 so we have a total of 216 so we have x to the power of 3 this is equal to 1 or 1 to the power of 3 times 216. Now we have that 216. 216. If we define by 2 here, then here we have 108. 108 divided by 2 here, this is the same thing as 54. 54 divided by 2. This is the same thing as 27, 27 divided by 3, this is 9, 9 divided by 3, this is 3, and 3 divided by 3 here, this is 1. So we have, this is 2 to the power of 3 times 3 to the power of 3. And we have that 2 to the power of 3 times 3 to the power of 3. This is the same thing as 2 times 3. 
increase to the power of 3. And this implies that 2 times 2, this is 2 times 3 is 3. 2 times 3, this is 6, raised to the power of 3. So we have 216 is the same thing as 6 to the power of 3. 216 is the same thing as 6 to the power of 3. We have 216 is the same thing as 6 to the power of 3. So x to the power of 3, this is equal to 1 on 1, raised to the power of 3 times 6 to the power of 3. Now, 1 on 1 to the power of 3 times 6 to the power of 3, this is in the form of a to the power of n times b to the power of n, which we can express as a times b raised to the power of n. So x to the power of 3, this is equal to 1 on 1 times 6 raised to the power of 3. So this means that we have x to the power of 3, this is equal to 1 on 1 times 6, this is 6 or 6 raised to the power of 3. So for x a, let's introduce a cube root on both sides. We have the cube root of x to the power of 3. This is equal to the cube root of 6 or 6 raised to the power of 3. Now, we have that the nth root of a raised to the power of m. This is the same thing as a raised to the power of m, raised to the power of 1 over n. Now, applying this property, now let's apply this property here, so that now we have x to the power of 3, raised to the power of 1 over 3. This is equal to, this is 6 or 6, raised to the power of this is 6, 6 or 6 raised to the power of 3, then raised to the power of 1 over 3. And this is in the form of a to the power of n raised to the power of m, which can be expressed as a to the power of n times m. So this is x to the power of 3 times 1 over 3. This is equal to 6 or 6 raised to the power of 3 times 1 over 3. So we can simplify 3 and 3 here, so that now x is equal to 3 and 3 will simplify, x is equal to 6 or 6, and this is the value of x. So kindly follow the steps, like this video, and kindly subscribe, like this video, and kindly subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.